No chance. <laughs> That's the way. Now hand your guns to the one in front. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season three, episode four of Attack on Titan, Trust. Any thoughts going into this episode? I am just so excited. I love this show. It's really great. Um, huh? It's really unbelievable. Um, I'm just having such a great time yeah. thinking about it. It's just like thought provoking in a way that I really haven't experienced in a TV show. And I find myself thinking about it more often than I would care to admit. So I'm just excited to see what what happens just wait till you watch it a second time it's a trip without further ado we'll go ahead and jump in make sure to like comment subscribe down below if you're excited for this episode and more moving forward check out the patreon linked in the description below if you want to see episodes as soon as they come out they're going to be coming out on youtube every sunday and thursday at 12 p.m eastern standard time and patreon whenever i finish adding them like the second they're edited i put them right on patreon so if you want to see the early uncut ad free extended episodes check out the patreon and you can ask us questions after every episode in addition to a bunch of other perks go check it out link in the description Comment down below what anime you want us to watch next. I've seen Death Note, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I've been seeing Neon Genesis Evolution. All right, I think that's about it. Are we excited for season three, episode four of Attack on Titan? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Don't you think they have us spread out a little too much? We're more likely to find them if we're not all in the same area. But why'd I have to get paired up with you of all people? Spill it, Marlo. Roast. You scheme this up Marlo. so we get some alone time? Look, Hitch. Marlo no Finch, but you weren't my first choice either. Oh, is that right? Well, good for you then. Anyway, doesn't this seem odd to you? Why would the scouts murder a civilian and run for the hills? This is the same group of soldiers who consistently risk their lives for the sake of humanity. Yeah, it doesn't really make yeah. sense. Give me a break. It absolutely doesn't add up. Think about what they did to Stohes. The way they turned it into a battlefield. How many dead Were they bodies really doing do that, that we It wasn't really their fault. Annie's been missing ever since. Gee. Shocker. They still haven't taken her junk out of my room. It's annoying. But, but she was doing Annie's so, roommate? the scouts yeah. also uncovered a titan Yikes. in hiding and took it prisoner. I highly doubt that the military police could have done that. Yeah. Who's disbanding the scouts what's best for humanity? It's not. Be quiet. Sorry, it's we have guns thing. now? Wow. Don't move. Turn around slowly. You must be a scout. Not a sound. Don't say a word. Now listen and do exactly as I instruct you. Nice. <laughs> no chance. That's the way. Now hand your guns to the one in front. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's not get to say that. <laughs> That's the way. Stop. You That's the way. Chuck now hand your guns to the one in front. Oh, Armin's this was the well bait. Planned I love that. Out. Say a word, right? <laughs> and now they have guns. Trust. Trust. Really, quite the term in this episode. Sorry, mm -hmm. this series. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Evan. I know this is sudden, but it's time for your interrogation. Oh, so, not ideal. The Survey Corps murdered a civilian in cold blood? You sure about this? I'm told that the evidence is strong, but with that said, I can't confirm anything I haven't seen. So then, the Interior Police are running this case without oversight? Hey, you cut that out. I'm sorry about him. Commander There's really Doc. no chain of command at this point. Just Everyone's just kind of doing he their own thing. I don't understand mm -hmm. how things work yet. Don't worry. The interior police aren't a subject we plan to write about. And the same goes for their new ODM gear. Thanks, Roy. See ya. That was the one with the gun. The mm -hmm. ODM gear worries me. Those guns are useless against Titans, but they're perfect for human combat. Yeah. It's as if that gear were specifically made for killing scouts. Also, 
Judging from the fact that its existence was hidden from us MPs, I get the impression that we aren't off the list of people it could be used against. Yikes. Anyway, we should get a report from them soon. Just be patient. What's the rush? This is the son of the merchant guy who got killed. And he saw it. Mm -hmm. Where you go? That's oh, a dead no. end, idiot! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Hanji really said, let's get out of here. He disappeared. Hey, what? Check the next alley. Jeez, Hanji. Incredible. So clutch. You're the son of Demo Reeves, right? What's your name? I'm Flagel. Flagel, nice to meet you. My name's Zoe Hanji. This is sudden, but if the MPs are trying to hunt you down, then I'm assuming that you must know the truth about your father's death. Could you tell me how it happened? I made a stop so that I could piss. That's when the interior police found my dad. There was a tall guy with a black That's coat. That's some and hat. guilt. He slit my dad's throat. Anyway, so he saw I'm Kenny glad do to it. See that you mm -hmm. survived. Now we can make the truth known publicly. You're crazy! Haven't you seen today's newspaper? If the MPs say you guys did it, well then that's the truth. My testimony means jack shit. They figured out I was there. The interior police know I saw everything. I'll be hunted for the rest of my life. And all I can do about it is run and hide until I'm caught. My life is over now. Shit! Yeah, maybe. Thing is, it doesn't exactly sound like living to me. Try looking at it this way. Instead of spending the rest of your life skulking around like a scared rat till you get murdered, you could stand up like a human and face your enemy even if they might kill you. Why the hell would I? Not everyone has <laughs> the same disregard for their lives as you. You know what? Yeah, I am scared and I have every right to be. Your family, the company, don't you think they deserve to know the truth? Come on! That's just what would be best for you! Of course it is! <laughs> you need to start thinking about what's best for you too! <gasps> All right, you're coming with me, Flagel. Yeah, so the guys what? have Your a lost. Awfully Give loud up. for people Why trying to be secret and hidden. Be? That's real simple. <laughs> Defeat is the only thing the Scout Regiment has ever known. <laughs> that's true. They're good at mm -hmm. that's the thing they're really good in situations where they're losing because that's literally all they do yeah. but uh what do you think of this guy the way that he's not really wanting to confess i think it's completely understandable given the situation i think he's just absolutely terrified like you can't blame him but you can hope that he changes his mind absolutely but at the same time no one's gonna believe him so what's the point a lot of the government is putting out an insane amount of propaganda saying That's otherwise true. yeah like, he's not like a newspaper owner like the most he can do is like tell people and then their bosses are going to shut it down because that's what the government is saying to do that's true get past the checkpoint disguised as mps and snoop around until we find out where Aaron is. <laughs> Connie's little it's hat. It's a shit plan, but it's all we have. There's no time. If we don't act now, we're finished. Captain. Hmm? Now then. Your Stohess District Military Police. Private Marlo Freudenberg. Captain Levi. It's really him. Same He's a Simon's legend. Private mm -hmm. Hitch Drace. We'll need to dispose of you. <laughs> Because of what you did! Stohes was a graveyard! Over a hundred people were killed! Huh? Hey, you <laughs> bastards! Like, what? I bet you all think you're some kind of heroes of justice, but you're not! You dropped dozens of innocent families straight into hell on that mission of yours! Yeah, we did. <laughs> hey, you! You're from the Southern Cadet Corps, right? So you trained with Annie Leonhardt. Were you a friend of hers? Mm. No. She wouldn't have made friends there either. Way too gloomy and unapproachable for that. She uh, was just afraid for of other reasons. Like a scared little kid. Yeah, she was afraid of people. Oh. Now I'll never get the chance to learn anything about her. She's officially listed as missing. You know why? It's because one of your titans turned her into an ugly red stain on the street! I'm Actually, not sure about uh, that one. No, it's because the titan we captured was Annie Leonhardt herself. 
Yep. God damn it. It makes me sick. Nobody knows a thing about this world. Not us or anyone else. Except for the bastards at the center of it all. We're letting you go, but we need to give ourselves a head start on you. Annie. Hey, Captain Levi! Please, let me join in your cause. I believe that the military police are in the wrong here. If there's any way that I can fight this world's injustice, then that's what I want to do! Easy. What do you think of him? Calm down. Hmm. What, are your, what are your thoughts on him? Because, like, back in the day he was talking about, like, there needs to be justice, like, the military mm -hmm. police need reform. Like, he's always kind of been scout-like. Like, yeah. I'd say his mm -hmm. mentality is a lot more like an Aaron, you know? Yeah, for sure. I'm still hesitant just based on the fact that he was about to go kill Armin. Yeah, true. And that was such a quick switch over information that he has no way to verify. Yeah. And I feel like if you're going to go from I'm on this side trying to destroy you to completely on your side, you would need solid evidence. Mm hmm. So... You don't quite trust it yet? No, I Fair. really don't. I swear I won't let you down, sir! No. I also have no the way vibes. of telling if you have enough resolve to make an enemy of the state. Let's go. Take them deeper into the woods and tie them up, Sasha. Sir! Hey, Captain, would you let me do it instead? Hmm. Knock yourself out. All right. We'll forget everything we saw here. I know you will, because both of you are about to die. Oh, oh shit. No! He said to let us go. The captain might be a big softy, but I'm not. I'm ready to do what needs to be done. Because he you hesitated. Have to us. Uh huh. We won't betray you. We know that you're fighting to protect humanity. Right? Tell him. <laughs> As if I take your word for it. I can't trust you. Not with that hair. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, I would get a bowl cut on purpose. Oh shit! How can I trust a single word you say? Uh, uh, run, Hitch! I'll cover you! What do you think will kill faster? That knife or the gun at your chin? Feel like trying your luck? Come on, let's race! Please! We're on the same side here! Why the hell would anyone believe you want to join the scouts? My comrades are getting rounded up like criminals as we speak. What makes you think we can win? Because you haven't quit. Despite the odds, the scouts are still fighting. I made a mistake when I chose my regiment. But you're a scout. You chose to risk your lives for others. So I'll trust you. That's kind of a, okay. a trust thing there. That that <laughs> proves it. <laughs> what the? All right. Horse nice Stop! He was just trying to test us. Huh? Well. Huh? It wasn't even a gun. Are you crazy. It was a stick. Mm. Even with my hands bound, I could have taken a swing at you with that knife and done some real damage. How did you know I wouldn't do it? Don't ask me how. But you remind me of this annoying guy, an <laughs> idiot. Makes me wonder, is he one of the fools Annie told me about? Well, couldn't say. Maybe All he's those the fools. ones. <clears throat> Luckily for me, you're just as dumb. <laughs> Marlo, I think you proved your dedication. This should be enough to convince Captain Levi. We'll be counting on you from here on out. Okay. Fun fact, uh, that whole scene I saw first before I saw really the entirety of Attack on Titan. No like, way. I saw a TikTok with that and I was like, I gotta watch this show. And yeah. then I started watching it. Like, that one scene. Far as I know, this is the least manned checkpoint in the region. Good. We'll handle things from here. Get back to your squad before they're suspicious. Right. How about Marla, that? Mm -hmm. We're grateful. Sir. Okay. All right. This time we're picking the fight. Hmm? 
Oh, wow. They just drove a horse through that? Strong horse. <laughs> Montana's only Simply not how horses work. <laughs> horse dynamic. Would they have just vaulted over it? They would have stopped or tried to jump, but when you're pulling a cart, they're not going to jump. Mm. They're, they're strong just horses. Stop. Captain, this with the interior police. I've got questions. You can't use a horse as a battering ram. Let's move. It's a prey animal. <laughs> got a beautiful shot there. <laughs> Thanks, dumbass. There won't be any witnesses in an abandoned dump like this. Damn it. I owe you big time. Thanks a bunch, Flagel. I mean, when you gave us the slip before, back in the alley, I really thought I was screwed. Oh, oh, oh. He's not good. <laughs> that dude is tight and nice. My boss would have killed me. I'm serious. <laughs> Thanks for coming back, Flagel. Nice knowing you. No, wait, don't shoot yet, please. Why did my father have to die? Did the interior police kill him? What? I don't see how that matters to you. After all, you're about to be a corpse yourself in a moment. Please, before I die, I want to know, what did my father do for you to justify killing him? Huh? I thought you'd know. He betrayed us and started helping out those bastards in the scout regiment. So his orders, they came from the interior police? You guys had him kidnap those scouts? Well, it was a different squad, but yeah. Guess old Demo didn't say too much about it. At least not to his dimwit excuse for a son. And what if he'd refused to do it? Oh, he knew way too much. We'd have killed him. I mean, we killed him anyway, but that's what he gets. The damn idiot. What made him think the Survey Corps could help this trash city? He would never understand. Hmm? You think you're real smart shit, don't you? Wanna know the last thing my dad taught me? Big moment. He said a good merchant should trust his nose. And I'm glad I listened. Because it led me to the people who could avenge him. And I side with them. You're gonna die here, piggy. No need to be brave. Go on and squeal. My business with you is over, asshole. Why don't you take a look above you? Very cool. That was a cool shot, too. Yeah. Oh, move, Hanji serious, said. Serious, serious Not punch. today. <laughs> Not happening. Not with your revolutionary war grade weapons. Musket. Oh, Commander, that was way too reckless. We pulled it off. Did everyone hear him? Uh, no. The scouts are here. But why? <gasps> Witnesses. This dump ain't abandoned. Wow. But it seems unlivable to you. Yet we're here. The place isn't half as nice as it used to be, but it's still our home. We heard everything about Rice and who had him killed. Every last one of us is a witness. Yeah? Wow. Well, it doesn't matter, because it's the government that decides what's true. Idiots. Don't even think for a second you can get away with this. You're in for a world of... <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you'll all be fine, because the Reeves Company will protect you. He trusted my father, Demo. Well, now I'm in charge. Okay. He's stepping so, up. We're from sitting now down. on, you can count on me. That's a promise. Glad to hear it, Mr. Reeves. Speak Miss, up next time. That's cute. Glad to see you stepped right? up. Hey, you give him hell, Flavor. Right. Look at the determination. Mm -hmm. I'm proud. Screw you. So they <laughs> kind of just brought them in there and got them to confess and big turnaround. What do you think? I absolutely played them like a fiddle. I'm wondering how witnesses are going to help because it seems like in the grand scheme of things, the government's just doing whatever they want, right? The, yeah. Like, I'm just wondering what ultimately is the end goal because one witness who isn't going to be believed by the government is not all that different from... 30 witnesses who are also not going to be believed by the government. I will say the news reporters were there too. Right, but the government is controlling every 
aspect of the way things are being presented and completely controlling the narrative and threatening news people. Sure, they could like get something out, but it would be immediately shut down and anyone involved would be murdered. So I'm wondering how they're going to deal with that issue. <sighs> Every time Levi only uses his legs. Where'd they take Aaron and Krista? You bastards. You think you're so brave. That post was manned by recruits. They barely even knew how to wipe their own asses. No one's gonna think you're heroes for beating them down. Yeah, the guilt's tearing me apart. <laughs> but what really gets at me is this mouth of yours. Okay, I... You start talking. <laughs> they need to stop. What really gets at me is this mouth of yours. <laughs> 72 or 3? We're gonna get to 100 by the end of the season. What, what, are, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? <laughs> I'm gonna suggest that you start talking while you're still able to use it. Now, where are Aaron and Krista? Says with a foot in his mouth. Mm -hmm. You can't win. All that's left to you now is to find some filthy corner to hide in, covered in mud and shit. If you don't turn yourselves in, then every last scout we captured will get the noose, starting with the guiltiest one of all, Ervin Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's right. Well, that's what you get for not answering my question. Some scouts' lives are more valuable than others. Only those dumb enough to agree to that join us. Again, where'd they take Aaron and Krista? I don't know. Nobody told me, I swear. Kenny Ackerman doesn't like to make his business known. Ackerman. I know Kenny. That his last name? It is, but... Never was much of one for sharing information. Not important stuff anyway. Did you see that? And I mm -hmm. bet you have a rough idea. Because that's best both of their last names. Yeah. yeah. No, stop! You still have plenty of bones left for me to break. Damn it! Oh my god. Are you insane? Maybe. Somebody's coming Psst. towards us! <laughs> and there's more than one. I told you, you're beat. Struggle all you want. One way or another, the Survey Corps will be destroyed. Now, if Levi has anything to say about it. Ooh. Yeah. It looks uncomfy. Yeah. I've seen better days. Kind of funny. You were lecturing me just the other day. Soon you'll be sent before the king. Then his council will determine your sentence and what to do with the Survey Corps. So you came. <coughs> Tell me, Niall, where do you live? Stoas, was it? How's Marie? How are your children? I trust they're all in good health. <clears throat> Marie and the kids are... They should be just fine. They haven't been home in a while, but... You might want to check it's on in that. Rose on the east side. Oh. I see. Why ask that? What's going on? I entrusted something to Commander Pixis. Whenever that crucial moment comes, what happens next is out of my hands. It'll be your choice to make. Yours and theirs. Erwin's always got a plan. Mm -hmm. So, what did we learn from the interrogation? Not much. Erwin didn't even realize that Pastanik was with the Order of the War, so Historia can make all the claims about her name she wants and it won't matter. They'll all amount to nothing. What a farce. They don't know it. But in truth, they're nothing more than cattle in a pen, simply waiting to die. Wow. Hmm? Yeah, pretty My apologies. elitist. But Erwin Smith has arrived. Very well. We'll be along. Once Erwin has been executed, all will be according to plan. The secrets of the walls will be kept as safe as ever. And the king's peace will be ensured. The king's peace. Forever. Evan Smith, do you have any last words?
And that is where we are left for this episode. Back at it with the cliffhangers. Had okay. to do it. Okay. Okay. But uh, pretty pretty intense episode. That what do you think? It really was. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Stuff's heating okay. up immediately. Yeah. More secrets of the walls. We keep hearing about that. And the the king's peace. Keep hearing yeah. about that. There's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff to really get into. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, but uh, before we do that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and check out the Patreon linked in the description below if you want to see episodes early, including our next episode. That's going to be episode 5 of season 3, and that's going to be coming out this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to check that out. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's go to the episode verdict. Thank you for watching that episode. If you want to ask us questions that we answer after every episode, join the Patreon linked in the description below at any level and you can start asking. For now, let's get to question one. Tyler Harden asks, so we see when Niall, the commander of the military police, is talking to the reporters, there is a comment made about how the younger reporter doesn't know how it works. And later in the episode, we see Hitch and Marlo didn't know Annie was the female Titan. With that, what else do you think has been hidden from the general population? I think the concept of Titan shifters existing outside of Aaron is completely being withheld. Mm. Um, and I think the comment about like, you don't know how it works implies that there's a really strong media control presence like the the information that is put out and shared is very heavily edited and curated to put out a very specific image and a new reporter obviously wouldn't know that and not know that that's the way you do reporting and news in this context because if you don't yeah. do it exactly the way they want you to it's not gonna go well for you it's fascinating to see like i feel like most shows will imply that this stuff has been happening but i just love how attack on titan really lays out the breadcrumb trail of corrupt government oh, like 100%. this whole season is a master class in showing just how they're warping the public's perception mm -hmm. like isn't it so cool and it's well, really not, cool well it's not cool we hate that but like it's it's fascinating, fascinating to watch the way they're showing it yeah. yeah all right let's go on to the next question i'll answer this question it's a four kenny question wait how is that not gonna spoil? it's gonna be fine okay hannah n asks is it getting harder or easier to not spoil things as we get closer to the big reveals of season three i'll speak to this uh i kind of over time has sort of developed like a perfect radar as to what's a spoiler and what's not based on what has actually been said. Like I really only talk about stuff that has been said in the episodes and I'll sometimes repeat stuff, but I rarely ever speculate. And that's how I keep stuff under wraps for spoilers. And I think also something that is also not typical in situations like this of like showing someone a show that you've seen before, but they haven't is you have been frame by frame yeah. every single episode. So you know exactly exactly everything that has happened and exactly what hasn't happened. Yeah, like I can, you know what, that's a really good point. Something that's really fascinating about any show we watch is I get to like maybe over 10 times analyze it because I do like an initial watch through to cut out all the fat, the points that we don't want to put in the reaction. And then I do a watch through where I cut out even more, a watch through where I cut the discussion sections and I do zoom ins and I do, there's so many steps that I get to watch things over and over. So sure, sometimes I'll bring up stuff that maybe she didn't, fully like give the attention it deserved but like it's clear when attack on titan is showing you something as a foreshadow and showing you something as a information you need to know so it, it really i just tend to stick to the information that i know she needs to know by this point and, and it's kind of clear are, and should have been explained yes at this point in the show let's go on to our final question perfect i kind of want to ask you a question all right um so thoughts on the character arc of uh demo reeves's son initially he just seemed really really scared and you can't blame people, you know, for being like that. But I think- in Especially the, in this environment. Exactly. But I also think there's an aspect of the situation they're in where it's kind of neither option is good and you're probably going to end up dead at the end game of both options. So then you have a choice. Like, do you go down running and terrified or do you try to make it count for something? Exactly. And I think that he really, really did that. Like he had guns in his face and still yeah, and you know, was able to keep it together. So I think that was really, really admirable. Not something I expected based off of that roof situation. I'm really hoping that the amount of witnesses can somehow make a difference because obviously him by himself wasn't going to be enough to prove any 
anything, but now with this many people, I mean, I'm still not. You're still not really sold. Exactly. I'm still suspicious over how this is going to be framed by the media and how it's going to be perceived, but it's obviously a significantly better chance now that so many more people know the truth. I'm hopeful that that's going to incite at least a little bit of change. Yeah, we're going to have to see, but that's about it for this episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for our next episode coming this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's episode five of season three. Also, check out the Patreon if you want to see that episode early among maybe more episodes. You'll have to go and see. The second I'm done editing an episode, I post it to Patreon, so it really just depends on how quickly we watch. But if you want to see episodes in their uncut, extended, ad-free, full-screen forms, check out the Patreon linked in the description below and you can see them right as they come out. All right, I think that's about it. Are we excited for next episode of Attack on Titan? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.